Welcome to Global Electronic Services. I want to thank you for coming by for a visit. We want to take you on a tour of the facilities and show you our repair capabilities. So with that said, let's go on inside. On your visit to Global Electronic Services, the first thing you're going to need to do is check in with one of our friendly receptionists. Get yourself a visitor's tag so that we know that you're here. And also, as we walk over here, you're going to see our promise, our commitment to our customers, what a customer means to us. Now, follow me upstairs. Welcome to our sales and administrative offices. Come on in, let me show you around. You'll notice on our walls we have numerous dashboards to track our actual progress as a company in real time throughout the day. Now, follow me to the conference room and let me show you where that's at. It's right over here. Hey, by the way, this is where all the important decisions are made. Come on in. Oh, didn't know anybody was in here in a meeting. Yeah. Resume, resume. All right. It's going pretty good, pretty good. Hey, by the way, let's make our way to the customer lounge. Follow me. Oh, look, there's a sales meeting going on. Your initial point of contact with Global Electronic Services is going to be one of our stellar account managers. Now, our account managers are available 24-7, 365. So if you need work during the day or after hours, we're here to help you do that, and we're available. Follow me. Let's go to the break room. Now, this is one of our numerous break rooms where we actually cater lunch every other Friday so that the company can eat as a family. We're making our way to the customer lounge. Wait till you see that. Hey, how are y'all? We do have a couple of glass offices as well. Now, the purpose of the glass offices are if, if you know, we need to make a conference call with one of our customers uh, or if uh, two people need to, to have a chat about something that's going on with a customer, this is where we do it. Hey, we're almost there to the customer lounge. Stay with me. Stay with me. Now, this is our customer lounge. So, let's say you drop off a repair to us and we're doing a rush repair for you. Well, this is the place that you're gonna come to relax, recharge the batteries, uh, and get ready for to grab that repair and take it back with you. Follow me. So you'll notice, wow, we've got TVs, we've got a refrigerator, uh, even a microwave if you need to heat up food, coffee maker, comfortable furniture. We, wanna, we want you to take a load off and make it as comfortable as possible for you while you're here. Uh, and then also, you'll notice up top, the logo that everybody's talking about. Wow, gotta love the customer lounge. Follow me this way. Hey Margie. Hey Freddie. Wow. Hey, we're gonna head to the elevator now so we can go downstairs and see where the impossible gets repaired. Follow me. Going downstairs to the tech room. Hope you guys are ready. Special. At Global Electronic Services, our repair facilities are a secure environment. That's for your safety and also any other visitors that come to see us, their safety as well. So to get into the repair room, you have to enter a code. And I'm going to do that right now. Now follow me. This is where the impossible gets repaired. Now, as we make our way into the industrial electronic repair room, I want to pass the tour off to Chris. He's one of our general managers. Hey, Chris. If you'll come over this way, I'll show you our first piece of test equipment. This is a LCD LED plasma panel checker. What this will do is inject a signal into the panel uh, so we can test it independently of the unit that it goes in. This is important because it saves time, it saves money. We're not always replacing the panel uh, immediately when we have a black screen. Come on this way. Here's something that we're very proud of. This is the dynamometer. What this machine is used for is to put a load on the output of a drive that we've repaired. So this is the second stage of drive testing that we do here in the facility for AC and DC drives testing. The reason this is important is because not only the drive has to turn on and perform its functions, it also has to be able to work in the system. So uh, what we want to do is we want to run it under load. Uh, this is an AC motor coupled to a DC motor. And uh, as they're coupled together, they're going to present resistance to each other, therefore, uh, you know, putting that load on the output. All right, come this way. I'm going to show you the first stage of drives testing. So on the first stage of drives testing, 
We're going to run it just statically on a motor, appropriate to its size. And what this is going to do is it'll put a small load on the device, but if it's going to experience a failure, it's not going to be as catastrophic as, say, if it was under load. All right, come on this way. I'll show you some other stuff. One thing I definitely want to point out is our power. We've got true manufacturer's power coming to the building, so 480. Uh, we have enough power here to run the three largest industrial parks in our zip code. What's important with a repair facility is that you can run the customer's equipment. And as you can see, we're always developing new functional test fixtures in the facility. What this, uh, they're mobile, so what this allows uh, the technician to do is just grab what he needs, take it back to the bench, and function test the units uh, in the facility. As you can see, our customer service department is tied right in with the tech room. This allows for hands-on live updates of any repairs that you have in the facility. Uh, they just walk out, go talk to the technician, and get your real deal answer. Also, any special requests, say you need a specific thing done on your repair or you just have some questions for the tech, they can fulfill that as well. Also, research on new and refurbished uh, products, things that we have in stock or if you have a specific unit that you're looking for and that you can't find, these people can do it for you. And uh, as always, you know, we're available 24-7, so if you have any questions, just call our number and we'll be there to help. All right, well, we're back in the tech room. Here we repair all sorts of HMI equipment, so human-machine interface. Uh, everything from touch screens to uh, industrial computers, monitors, dumb terminals, anything that you have in your facility that's display-oriented and that you use to uh, interact with your machine, we can repair here. So as you can see, uh, what are you working on, man? Right now I've got a touchscreen HMI, rebuilt the motherboard the power supply, put in the gaps. Now it's just a systems check, make sure the customer's program is still operational, touch screens functional. Good to go. Thanks. Anytime. So as we move through the center of our tech room, I wanted to point out each of the tech's benches. So every bench has the same testing equipment, oscilloscopes, chip checkers, Huntrons, isolated power supplies, everything that they need to get the job done is on everybody's bench. And what this allows is the techs don't have to share equipment, uh, they don't have to be without the equipment they need to perform the repair, and everybody can, you know, get the repairs out within our lead time. So, and also, on the floor, we have rolling bins like this, uh, shelves everywhere with common failure components. They're used on every repair, and we've got every size tolerance that, that you can think of uh, that a circuit board would need. Now the reason we stock these this way is because on our repairs, we don't just repair the failed part. We repair uh, and replace out of tolerance components, things that will degrade with heat and age naturally. So go ahead and follow me over to the parts department. In this room, we stock millions of components, everything that we might need from SCRs to transistors to inverters, display modules, things that commonly fail in a unit, we're gonna stock in this room. Here is the parts receiving area. Uh, we've got a break room, and we're going to head on into the motor shop behind me. All right. Here, uh, you'll see all sorts of large motor equipment uh, from our sandblaster, alkaline pressure washer to get contaminants out of the machine, gets them shiny to the bare metal. From our dip tank, where we dip motors that have been freshly rewound to our dynamometer, which tests motors uh, under load. Follow me and we'll head into the machine shop. In addition to our motor test facility, we have a fully equipped machine shop. So everything from mills to lathes to presses, anything we need to cut a metal part, we have here right here in the facility. Also, we do our own dynamic balancing. We have 30 ton bearing puller, 10 ton hydraulic press, and of course the paint booth. So follow me and we'll head right into the rewind facility. So rewinding of electric motors is done right here in the facility. So we've got the capabilities to rewind armatures and stators uh, back to manufacturer specifications. And if you'll follow me, right around the corner here is our coil former as well as any sort of head for any type of motor that you have, from your little single phase heads to very large continuity heads. 
So any motor that you might have, we can rewind it here. And if you follow me, we'll head over into the servo motor area. We repair all types of servo motors. Uh, we have a full KE test stand for testing permanent magnet motors. We also do all uh, types of analog and digital encoder repair. So over to my right is the Mitchell Electronics. Now this is the industry standard and the Mitchell Electronics allows us to test and align all types of feedback devices from analog and digital to encoder, tachometer, and resolver. And in order to do this, we have to have the appropriate cable in stock. And as you can see, we've got hundreds right here. And here is our hydraulic and pneumatic repair area. Here we would test all sorts of hydraulic and pneumatic devices from pumps to valves to cylinders to actuators. Uh, the machine behind me can test uh, pressures ranging up to 10,000 PSI. And of course we don't run it that high, but uh, most standard industries will fall between 1,200 and 3,000 PSI. But whatever it is, this machine here can test it. Follow me and we'll head into the warehouse. Now I'll take you to our shipping area where your repairs are cleaned, packaged, and shipped out according to the highest standards. Whatever you request, we can make it happen. And let me take you into our receiving department. So here, repairs are logged in based off of their model number, their OEM, serial number, and any other notes that you may have attached to your repair. Also, we give it a unique barcode, that way it's cataloged and can be tracked anywhere in our system, and all this information is put into our SAP database. And look, the global van is here, ready to deliver a repair.